Hi, Grace Point Kids. Mrs. Jamie. And Mr. Mark here. We are going to start out by talking about the characteristics of God and Jesus. Here we go. It's a big list, so get ready. It's a very big list. So we're going to start. Here we go. God is almighty. He has absolute power or is all powerful. God is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end, the first and the last. God is awesome. He is amazing. God is compassionate. He loves and cares for you and me. God is the deliverer. He is our savior. God is exalted. He is above all else. God is faithful, which means he keeps his promises. God forgives. When we mess up and say sorry, he forgives us. God is good. No further explanation needed on that one. God is gracious, full of kindness and mercy. And God heals. He makes people healthy and whole. God is holy. He is sinless and perfect. God is our judge. God is just. He is always fair and always right. Yes, God is love. God is King of kings and Lord of lords. He is the one who rules over all other kings. And Jesus is Emmanuel, meaning God with us. Jesus is the Lamb. He is the perfect sacrifice for sin. And Jesus is the Savior. He is our Messiah. These characteristics lead us into our lesson today. We are going to read Matthew 21, 1 through 11. Jesus enters Jerusalem as the king, knowing he will soon be the sacrifice to save us from our sins. All right, so we're going to read out of Matthew 21. Get it right here on your electronic device or your Bible. And we'll start with the first verse. All right. As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethphage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt by her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says to you, say that the Lord needs them, and he will send them right away. This took place to fulfill what was spoken previously through the prophets. They had said, say to daughter Zion, see, your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. So the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt, and they placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. Very large, a very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, while others cut branches from the trees and spread them on the road as well. The crowds that went ahead of him and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and were asking, Who is this? The crowds answered them, This is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. God is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. And how that reminds us that he is the king over all kings. The people were waiting for a king to come and rescue them from Rome. But instead the king, Jesus, came and rescued them from sin and death. How did he do that? He died on the cross. So in our story, it seemed like the people were beginning to understand who Jesus is and that they were crying out to him for salvation. But Jesus also knew that those same voices crying out to him on that day would, in only a few days, cry out for him to be crucified. You see, Jesus wasn't who the people thought they needed. They thought they needed an earthly king, an emperor, and an earthly rescue. But they needed so much more. They needed the same thing that we all need today. They needed the Messiah to save them from punishment and death. They needed that Messiah to save them from their sins, and restore their broken relationship with God. All of us need to do what the people on the road to Jerusalem did that day. We all need to cry out, Lord, save us. But we need to cry out for salvation from Jesus, knowing that he is the way to, to be saved and that his salvation is forever. In John 14, 6, Jesus said, He is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no one comes to the Father except through him. Now that's real salvation. Okay, kids, that's it for today. We miss you. We love you. And stay safe until we can see you again. Bye now. Bye.